state of Texas is serious when it comes to domestic violence. In 2007, over 189,000 incidents of family violence were reported. 136 women were killed by their partners, and close to 12,000 adults and over 16,000 children received shelter due to domestic violence. In a statewide poll, the Texas Council on Family Violence found that 74% of all Texans have either themselves, a family member, or a friend experience some form of domestic violence. And 31% of all Texans report having been severely abused at some point in their life. 5.2 million Hispanic Texans are personally affected by this epidemic of domestic violence. 73% of all Texans believe that domestic violence is a serious problem in Texas. Fortunately, Texans understand that domestic violence is a serious problem in our state. 47% of all Texans report having personally experienced at least one form of domestic violence. For a first conviction of domestic abuse, you can be sentenced to county jail for up to one year, may face a $4,000 fine, ordered to complete counseling, and placed on probation upon release. A second conviction becomes a third-degree felony. With a minimum sentence of two to 10 years in a Texas state penitentiary, subject to large fines, ordered to complete counseling, and placed on parole after prison. If a weapon is used and causes serious injury, the charges increase to a first-degree felony, which can mean up to life in prison. Domestic violence and abuse is all about a need for power and using violence as a control method to seek power. The batterer must be a person of power in a family structure and must be using violence or other behavior to control the actions of others. This is the basic essence of what domestic violence is all about. The perception of power in the relationship by the batterer and those around them is all important, as well as the need for constant control. Domestic violence is the ultimate form of control. So if you or someone you know needs counseling or has been court ordered to attend a battering intervention and prevention program, also known as BIP classes, don't delay. Contact our offices today.